Hi everyone, welcome to Thursday the 21st of May. I was blown away by your shops. You did an absolutely wonderful job at counting money. So today we're going to continue with that learning, but in a slightly different way. But before we do that, let's have a go at flashback for. Can you see that I've represent, represented a number using tens? What number am I showing? Hopefully, you've counted in tens to find the answer and it went like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I have represented the number 60. Hmm, what does the number 60 look like? That's right, it has a six and a zero. Okay, pause the video and have a go at these four questions for me, please. Welcome back, you one. Okay, question one. How many more apples are there than bananas? I hope you didn't count how many apples there are because that wasn't the question. It was asking you how many more apples than bananas. And these are how many more apples there are. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are four more apples than bananas. Question two. How many socks are there all together? Can you see that the socks have been grouped into twos? So that means I can count in twos to find the answer. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18. I have 18 socks altogether. Question 3. Add 7 and 5 together. 7 in my head, 5 fingers up. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 7 add 5 equals 12. Question 4. Write the word na, the number 9 in words. Hmm. I'm going to press it on my Fred fingers. N I N. Hmm. So I need a knobby snap. Then I need a, a split diagraph I, which is the nice smile I. Ding. And then I needed a N again. N I N. Nine. If you made a mistake with spelling the word nine, pause the video and have a go at writing out three times so it gets locked into your head. If not, we shall carry on with the video. Vocabulary check. My turn. Your turn. Money. Currency. Value. Equivalent. Coins. Notes. Excellent. Well done, everybody. We're going to have another go at, go at playing in pointing finger because it was so much fun. Can you wiggle your pointing finger? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Can you point it up high? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Can you point it down low? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We are going to use our eyes to look for the correct coin, coin, and then our pointing finger to point at the correct coin. Here goes. Get your pointing finger ready. Off to the seaside. Do you have the correct coin to buy an ice cream? Hmm. What flavour ice cream would you buy? I think I would buy a mint flavour ice cream. Which coin do you need? The ice cream costs 20 pence. Oh, that's a very cheap ice cream. Look with your eyes, find it with your finger. Hopefully you're pointing at this coin. This is the 20 pence coin because it has written on there 20 pence. Excellent, well done. Can you buy some bread from the shop? Which coin do you need? The bread costs one pound. Find it with your eyes. Point it with your finger. I hope you are pointing at this coin. This is the one pound coin because it has written on there one pound. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Last turn. You have found a coin in your bag. <gasps> Lucky you for finding a coin in your bag. What coin did we find? You found a two pence coin in your bag. Show me the coin that you have found. 
Mm, hopefully you are pointing at this coin. This is a two pence coin because it has two pence written on it. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's start with our learning. So I need some help today. Do you think you could help me? See, I have lots of piggy banks with all different amounts of money in, inside it. And I need some help with finding out how much money I have in my piggy bank. Can you help me? Hopefully, you all said yes. Let's carry on. How much money is in my piggy bank? Hmm, what coin have I got in my piggy bank? I've got one pence coins. So that means I can count in ones to find out how many I've got all together in my piggy bank. Ready? And I'm going to make sure I say pence. One P. Two P, because there's two P's. Three P. Four P. Five P. I have five pence in my piggy bank. And five one pence coin is the equivalent to one five pence coin. So I could change it to a five pence coin. Well done, everybody. Let's have a go at this one. Oh, I don't know why it's moving. Why are you going over there? Okay, here we go. How much money is in my piggy bank? Hmm, what coin have we got in my piggy bank now? I've got 10 pence coins. That means I can count in, hmm, can I count in fives? No, because that's not, that's not how much that coin is worth. Hmm. Can I count in tens? Yes, I can, because that's how much the coin is worth. And I know how to count in tens. Ready? Ten, oh, ten. 20, 30. I have 30 bananas in my piggy bank. Oh, that doesn't sound right, does it? I have 30 pencils in my piggy bank. No, I definitely don't have 30 pencils. Oh, what's that word that I need to say? Oh, that's right. I need to say 30 pence. I have 30 pence in my piggy bank. Or you could say 30p. How much? Is in this piggy bank. You may want to pause the video and have a go at doing this all by yourself. If not, I will talk you through it. Okay, so I'm going to count in twos first because there's lots of two pence coins there, isn't there? Can you see? And I know how to count in twos. Then I'm going to count the one at the end. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's ten pence there. Then I need to do ten. Add one. Ten add one. Ten. Eleven. I've got eleven pence in my piggy bank. Did you count the same amount as me? Well done, everybody. Let's move on. How much money is in my piggy bank? Hmm. I've got a mixture of coins in this piggy bank. I've got 10 peas and I've got 5 peas. I've got mainly 10 peas, so I'm going to count the 10 peas first. You may want to pause the video and have a go at doing this all by yourself. If not, I will talk you through it. So I'm going to count in 10s because I can count in 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40. I've got 40 pence here. And then I need to count and um, add 5 to 40. Or oh, I think I'm going to have to draw some some squares to help me because I'm not entirely sure. So I need to count on from 40 and stop when I get to five. Because I know that five is the same as five ones and that will help me with counting on. So I've got 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. I have 45 pence in my piggy bank. Well done, everybody. That was super learning. It's activity time now. I would like you to complete the piggy bank sheet that I've attached to this post. There are two versions of this sheet. There is an easier version, which I've labelled green. And there's a tricky version for anybody that found today's learning super, super easy and would like a challenge. And I've labelled that red. And then there is a challenge question which I've attached to this post. I hope you have fun and remember to draw 
out any squares or circles to help you with counting if you get stuck.